With the global launch of 5G still four years away, there has been a big drive around 4.5G development. Operators are seeing a bigger need to upgrade their networks and this evolution of LTE is bringing new services and technologies to market. I think there's around about a hundred or so trials and commercial deployments around the world. I think Huawei has about 40 of those, so they're doing pretty well. In terms of subscribers, we potentially have around sort of 16 million by the end of this year. I think by sort of 2021, we'll see that ramp up to around sort of 650 million. So it, it's, got, it's got some traction. The investment is also following through. 4.5G provides us uh, low latency and more speed. With the help of these uh, more speed and low latency, we can give and reach services to our customers. Uh, in voice site, uh, we deployed Volte from the first day. Uh, for uh, video site, uh, we can give uh, Ultra HD video service to our uh, customers, Ultra 4K TV, and also by using LT Broadcasting, we can give uh, some new uh, broadcasting uh, techniques with the help of the uh, high uh, spectrum. Uh, we can give uh, more speed to our customers and now our network supports uh, 450 megabit per second speed. So there's a number of key technologies. We've got component carry aggregation that's able to put a number of different frequency channels together to help to get the throughput over the air interface between the end user's handset and the base station. There's ability to, for example, IoT. 4.5G comes with new technologies, especially new modulation technology, help us to improve the efficiency. We have high amount of spectrum and this modulation technology uh, provides us to use that spectrum more efficiently. On the other end, uh, 4x4 MIMO, 256 QAM, and also carrier aggregation helps uh, to give more speed to our customers and also more uh, capacity to use. So ESN will benefit the support agencies for the front line because it's a robust, reliable all IP network. Um, obviously based on our 4G LTE uh, advanced and professional and it gives them access and real-time access to all their systems um, all of the time. So you can start to look at those processes, those operating models in healthcare um, and in the police service and with evidence gathering and start to digitise them and modernise them in the way that we've seen other industries modernise. You can provide a service like uh, virtual reality, 4K video everywhere, and also you can enjoy the cloud applications on your smartphone, on your tablet. So for GigaBPS is very important. But when we talk about Go Giga, we not only mean peak rate. The concept goes from peak rate to average rate in a cell. And also from cell center to cell edge with peak rate. Also from outdoor GigaBPS to indoor GigaBPS. With a lot of money being invested in 5G, there are concerns that upgrading to 4.5G at this stage could be a waste of money. Operators discuss how 4.5G will help, not hinder, the evolution to 5G. We just deployed 4.5G and also that 4.5G is a bridge between 4G and 5G and it will help us to go or to migrate easily to 5G. There's a lot of talk about 4.5G, but it's often being a little bit overshadowed by 5G. The problem is 5G is not really happening now. It's not really going to happen until 2020. That's when the Tokyo Olympics really gets underway. And what fundamentally 4.5G or LT Advanced Pro does, it helps the operators get through the next five years. There's a lot of really critical technologies which can really enable a number of exciting applications and services. I think the good thing for operators is that many of the benefits of 5G are already being delivered with 4.5G. So I think the next three to four years will give them the chance to dip their toes in the water. So it's going to be fundamentally different. They don't need to wait until 5G for business models. It's going to be occupying their minds in the period 2016 to 2020. Clearly, 4.5G has a place in some parts of the world. And in the build-up to 5G, time will only tell whether this will be enough to satisfy the insatiable demand for faster, more efficient networks. I'm Kavit Majithia from Mobile World Live.